Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. And I have found over the years of teaching that the number one question people ask me is, I'm stuck in a box, I don't know how to say something different. I feel like I'm playing all the same stuff, I know how to play songs, I can play leads, but none of it sounds new, and I never know what the next thing is. Well, I'm here to tell you that the answer is to learn the melody to every single song that you learn. Yes, the vocal melody. That means what the singer sings. Because here's the deal. You guys know this. Music is about rhythm, it's about harmony, and it's about melody. If you don't have the rhythm, you have nothing, right? And then you can have the harmony over top, which is the chords and the scales, but it doesn't mean anything unless you have a melody to connect them together. Guitar players, you know this. We have a problem. We always focus on harmony. We're like, oh, it's a one, four, five in the key of E. You know, it's major pentatonic. You know, I'm doing this. And there's no conversation of melody. You know, it's all, oh, how do I play Dorian? No, no. Here's the answer to all of your questions. The melody. The answer to all of your questions, I'll say it again, is the melody. Oh, when do I switch to major and minor? Melody. Oh, when do I use this mode or that mode? Melody. I'm telling you, melody. One of my favorite examples of this is Midnight Rider um, by the Allman Brothers. So check this out. Basic, basic. It comes in, right? You got five, flat seven, to a, uh, a D power chord. Now, when the vocal melody comes in, right away, he goes to an F sharp. What is that? The major third of D. So now we're firmly D major, right? Then when it goes to the pre-chorus or whatever you want to call it, it goes G minor seven. That's a B flat triad. Over G, and then it goes to C major. So a C major triad over over C, and then back up to D major. So you know right away you can't have a major triad, major triad, major triad. You're like, how am I going to solo over this? G minor is not in the key of D major. How do I solo over this? The melody, the melody. Listen to it. I'm going to hit this little backing track, and I want you to listen to what happens in the melody, and then I'll show it to you. Then we'll put words to it, and then you will forever know how to solo over this. This is the key. This is the key. Learn the melody to every song you learn, not just the guitar parts. All right, here we go. One, two, three, D, E, F sharp. What happened there? What happened there? I'm in D major. One, two, three, major pentatonic. D, E, F sharp. Rocking over to the five and six, A and B, respectively. And I'm not following it exactly. Broad strokes here. Broad strokes. Then when it goes to the minor four chord, and you're like, what in the world do I do with that? What does the melody do? It goes to F, not F sharp. That is the minor third of D. So we switched to minor. Why? Why do we switch to minor? Because F went to F sharp in G minor seven. Because the B flat triad over G has the F in it. That's why. So you're thinking about, oh, I could do all these things. I could do all these things. But what does the melody do? One, two, three to one, two, flat three. Close moves, 
to outline the change. And then when it goes up to the C major, what does the melody do? Goes right to the E, the closest move to get the change, which is the third of C major, the nine of D, which of course resolves back to D when the harmony gets to D. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. It is not more complicated than that. Please, you know who I'm talking to. You know who you are out there. I am one of you. And I, it's been the battle of my life to get out of this habit. Don't just learn the guitar parts. Don't just think in terms of harmony, this key, this chord, this scale. Learn the melody to every song that you learn. Yes, what the singer is singing. Practice playing that melody over the solo section, not the guitar solo that you've learned that you've heard the player play. Play the melody over it and put words to it like you just saw me do. This minor third works because the F sharp went to F to hit the B flat triad over G. Bam. Or the flat seven of G minor seven is F. Bam, right? And that is the minor third of the one chord. Bam. And internalize it. Put words to it and then use it. Use it in other places in other songs. I guarantee you it will change the way you play. It will change the way you think. And all the non-guitar players in the band will notice. Because believe me, we have a bad reputation. Cheers. Good luck.